Hello everyone and welcome to this session. Today we will discuss about how to create SAP users and how to reset the password and how to delete the users. So let's go ahead. So this is SAP GUI where we have already configured the SAP detail. So you can right click in this. You can see here we have a view. Okay, or you can go with property. So you will see already we have configured like a detail about SAP ECC. This is the server and this is the instance number. This is the ID. So already we have configured on this server. Okay, so we will start to create users. So first we will have to log in into this SAP ECC server. Double click on this. It will ask your username and passwords. So we have already username and password. We can put it here. Okay, and password is this. Yes. So I am going to log in into SAP ECC server access with the ECC access. Okay. So there is a T code. Okay, that is SU01. Okay, which we, is used to create the SAP user. Okay, double click on this. Now you can see there is an option users. Okay, so if if you have an existing users, you can just you can pick here and you can see here the already existing users. So you will see the detail. If you have already existing detail, you can just put it here username and click on display. You will see all the detail like address, login data, SNC, default parameter, role, profile, group, all the related informations. Okay, and who have changed and what date it has changed, what time, what is the status it is saved. So all the information you will see here under display users. Okay, so we are going to create the user. So you can just go back and here I am going to create a user. So let's here I am going to create a user. Let's see, I am going to create a user called RAM. Okay, RAM. Okay, so I am going to create it. If if any alias name, you can put it here. Okay, if not, okay, that is you can skip that alias okay click the name of the users and click here you can see the create button is there click on create button see it's saying ram is already exist okay that means user already exists so you have to give the another name so let's i'm giving the ram 5 okay let's create now yes the ram 5 is not exist so we can create using ram ram Okay, now you can put it here address. Okay, okay, whatever the person uh, user ID detail like title, if you doctor, if a Mr. Mrs., you can put it Mr. if it is Ram. Okay, the first name is okay. Let's see anything. Okay, if you Ram Kumar, so you can put it Ram Kumar here, last name and first name is Ram. Okay, any academic title. Okay, and keep complete name. Okay, to document. Okay, okay, languages. What are the languages? like English languages, okay. Okay, work center, like functions, department, let's see anything like mathematics department or computer department, you can put it the detail here. Okay, any room number, address, floor, okay, anything, if it is any address, work center would be available, you can put it here. Okay, any communication skill, let's see some mobile number, you can put it like this, any mobile number. Okay, if in fax number, okay, any email address, let's see if it is like kind of, email address you can put it example like this is the email address so all the user related address you can put it into address tab then login data okay so you can see here you can see the types so different types of are available okay you can make it user type as a diagonal diagonal okay dialogue okay so let's i'm selecting this dialogue and if it is if you choose any security policy you can choose it Otherwise, you can skip it. Now you can see password. Now you have to set the password here. Okay. So you can put any password. Okay. Let's say I'm putting 
okay six five four three two one similarly you have to repeat the password six five four three two one okay so you can give any password okay it is a case sensitive okay once done it okay if it is user authentic uh, if any groups are available so there is no any group as of now okay validity okay from which date to which date you want to uh, validate this users that means that the user will be active for particular periods so let's i am giving the today date if you can put it like a 3 april to valid till whatever the like date you want to put like 30 okay 30 april okay so the user will be valid till this date if in case any account number you can put it any call center you can put otherwise you can leave it okay no need to put any scn names here default name okay you can see default these are the default are there decimal notations what kind of decimal notation you would like for so that is you can put it here. what are the date format you want there are multiple date formats are there so as per your requirement you can choose the date format even time format is available you can choose as per your requirement okay these are the like basic things you should use while the creation of any user now parameters okay so there is not required here any parameter okay. a role what kind of role you want to assign it you can put it here as per the requirement now profile so what i want i want all the role so okay so i give it the access for all role all sap system authorizations i have given to this user ram5 to all sap access so as per the requirement you can put your role here okay so no need to fill anything here okay just leave it all this detail okay now the next step would be you can just save it yes your user has been ram5 has been created now you can click here display okay you can see here or whatever the data would be you have entered you can see here so you can see here okay your initial password okay has been set by administrator okay so now what you need to do you have to reset this password so how you can reset the password so again you have to go here okay open your ram ram5 okay and put the user password which you have given okay so i have given 654321 press enter so it is asking you reset the password okay so you can reset the password so let's see i am giving some password here yes you can see new password i have given right so your user has been created and as well as you reset it successfully so you can check it there go to sc01 and put it here ram ram5 username okay and click here button called display you can see here right you can see okay you will see the all the detail even you can see here now you can see productive password earlier it was initial password okay so initial password you have to reset within five days otherwise it will expire so that's the reason whenever you have created any user you have to immediately you have to make it product so it want to be uh, access issues so this is how we can create uh, and assign your profile to users okay so this is the way okay we can create it right so this is how we can do it thank you for the watching this video